Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and today is a day of reflection. Today is a sad day for Pokemon fans and for Nintendo fans. If you were around for the last handful of years, the last decade plus, the systems that most of our games were on, most of the new Pokemon games before the Switch was the Nintendo 3DS. And as of today, and as of moving forward, the eShop for that system is no longer. They are shutting it down. The eShop is shutting down for the Nintendo 3DS and for the Wii U, but most of the Pokemon games over the last decade were on the Nintendo 3DS. So if you do not own these games physically, there is going to be no way to easily acquire them anymore once the eShop shuts down. Now, it's been slowly shuttering for the last handful of years. They event they disabled being able to add funds a while back, even though you could still add uh, Nintendo eShop gift cards to it after that. But last year, they shut that down as well. You could no longer add funds directly to it via eShop gift cards. Until today, there had been a workaround. You could add credit to your Nintendo Switch, and if you had your eShops linked via your Nintendo account, the money would show up in both places, and you could still make purchases on the 3DS and the Wii U, but that's no longer going to be possible after today. The, the shops are completely shutting down. You will not be able to download updates to previously downloaded software, so if you have games, Pokemon games maybe that you haven't played in a long time, or other games that got patches and software updates in years or months prior or previous to their release, that will no longer be available and it's just sad it's it, there's it's it's the end of an era for a lot of pokemon fans i remember vividly waking up the morning of the pokemon x and y announcement in january of 2013 the pokemon direct i believe it was the first pokemon direct ever I think, don't quote me on that, but from my memory, it is the oldest Pokemon Direct when Pikachu was atop the Eiffel Tower, which would we would eventually learn was Lumio City in the Kalos region, announcing the first 3DS Pokemon games. I remember waking up early before school to watch that trailer and then going into school that day and talking to my friends in the hallway before class about the announcement. And those are some of my, my fondest memories of Pokemon growing up was the excitement for the 3DS games. This is not going to be a video of much substance. It's almost just a video to kind of vent about the fact that this part of our lives as Pokemon fans and as, as people is coming to an end. Pokemon is in a good place at the moment on the Nintendo Switch. There are a bevy of games and options for players to go with. There are traditional games like BDSP and open world adventures like Legends and, and, and Scarlet and Violet and hybrids like Pokemon Sword and Shield, all of which have cool region designs, exciting Pokemon and fun features while having some problems. But the 3DS was really where I grew up with Pokemon. I My first Pokemon game was Emerald and eventually Diamond, and the DS was where my childhood was, but those years, those formative years, your early teens and late teens going into college and finishing up high school, that was with the 3DS. That was with X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, eventually Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Those games took up so much time for me when I was younger, and they are getting more and more expensive as the years roll on. And you would have to imagine that once this eShop shutters and once these games are no longer available digitally at their base price, the price of physical versions is only going to continue to go up as these games become more and more rare. So many of these copies are going to be lacking updates and patches that came in later. So many of them are going to be missing features eventually. It's, it's a sad state. Now, there are plenty of videos of Pokemon YouTubers on here working on the, the global trade station, the Wi-Fi for some of these older games, and that is still going to be up. You can still play multiplayer on these systems. They're not shutting down the internet service like they did with the Wii a few years back. So for the time being, you're still going to be able to play these games if you own them and get the full experience, trading and battling with friends across the globe, wonder trade and everything that came with that if there's other people doing it, that'll still be up. And if you have digital versions that you've previously purchased, you will still be able to re-download them but you're not gonna be able to buy them fresh. So if there are any games that you guys have wanted to get 
you might be out of time, unfortunately, but I think a lot of members of the community have done a very good job to make us all aware of this deadline. It's just sad. So many things are going to be lost, and in a couple years, the nostalgia is going to be incredible. Pokemon Bank and Poke Transporter. If you've had them before and you've had a subscription, it's now going to be free for the foreseeable future for as long as the internet service is up on the 3DS. And if you've downloaded Bank and have a subscription, you will have downloaded Pokemon Transporter. There's no other way to get Poke Transporter except through Bank. It's not downloadable separately on the eShop. So it's through Bank, and that's how you get Pokemon from the Gen 5 games. That's how you can bring your Pokemon all the way up from Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and upwards, Gen 3 to Gen 5, and then into the 3D generation. That connectivity, luckily, is still going to exist for now. But it might not in the future. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, so much history of Pokemon is in the 3D generation. We had incredibly successful and fun remakes of Gen 3 on the 3DS with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I remember the rumors swirling on the internet for years about Ruby and Sapphire remakes that would eventually come. People looking for hints in every single corridor and every single building of previous games, trying to see if Game Freak was hinting to us that we would be returning to the Hoenn region. When they got announced, it was one of the most exciting days of my childhood. I remember running around the house telling my parents that they, we were getting remakes of these games, Emerald being my childhood. It was incredibly exciting. I remember the lead up to Pokemon Sun and Moon when Game Freak and the Pokemon Company accidentally let the domain names appear online and through that we got the art for the game logos for Sun and Moon and that was revealed before the direct where they announced Pokemon Sun and Moon. I remember sitting in study hall in school when those logos came out and Twitter being ablaze wondering if they were real and having places like Serebii confirm that yes, the links are real, these do exist, who knows what this could mean, and then very shortly after that we got the official announcement. The speculation running rampant after Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out about what Pokemon would do on the new Switch hardware. Pokemon Stars, would we get a port of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon coming to the Nintendo Switch with up graphics? That never happened, but that was a hot rumor for about a month in the Pokemon community at the end of the 3DS's life cycle, officially. It's been over for a while now, but this really is the final nail in the coffin. There are third-party apps and side games on the 3DS they are going to be lost to time. Pick crosses and Pokemon shuffles abound on the 3DS eShop. Some of them free to try and would have in-game microtransactions. Others cost an upfront fee. Pokemon Dream Radar was an app that they created early on on the 3DS along with the 3D Pokedex or the Pokedex 3D Pro. And in the Dream Radar, you could get the Therian forms of Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus and then transfer them into your game. If you own Dream Radar or you can download it from previously purchasing it, you can still unlock these Therian forms on your 3DS and then transfer them to the Generation 5 games. I believe it's Black and White 2 that you can do it in. That will not be interrupted by this closure, but so many other things will. If people have some of the classic games but never got Pokemon Bank, maybe they're a little bit younger and they didn't really manage to sink their teeth into the Pokemon ecosystem during the 3DS, they might have never downloaded and paid for Bank, and now that's locked. If you did not previously pay for Bank and own it, you can't get into it for free. You can't download Poke Transporter. So we're losing a lot today. We're losing the availability of so many Pokemon games. I've spoken now for nine or so minutes. I haven't even mentioned that the first two generations are available virtually on the 3DS eShop. Red, blue, and yellow, gold, silver, and crystal. And crystal has an event Celebi that you can't get Otherwise, you can shiny hunt in these and get the shiny event Celebi and transfer it up. There's tons of fun, wacky EV IV methods for that sort of thing in the original games. And then they had this special event in Crystal. If you own them, you can still do all of this for the time being. I want to make that abundantly clear. But for people who don't own them, for younger fans who maybe are picking up a 3DS and want to experience this era of Pokemon for the first time, a lot of that sadly is going to be locked away now. I was on my Wii U last week adding some funds and downloading a bunch of uh, a bunch of older games, some DS games, some virtual console games onto that system. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon had a bunch of its games 
on the 3D on the Wii U eShop that you could get. Explorers of Sky, Red Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team. I went and downloaded a couple of those last week just because I think it's cool to be able to play Explorers of Sky on my big screen TV. But this is all no more. It's really sad. It's really cathartic to talk about. I really wanted to do this today just to kind of remember this era, remember this time of Pokemon as we say goodbye to it for the last time. But I'd like to know down in the comments section below too, what are your memories, your fondest memories, your, your worst memories of Pokemon on the 3DS and the Wii U? What are you going to remember most about these days? And have did you download any games and pick up any games in the last couple weeks that you wanted to have digitally that you can't anymore? Let me know down in the comments section below. And hopefully we have some sort of better system moving forward. I would hate for one day the Switch successor to come out it not be backwards compatible with the virtual stuff that's already on the switch and the physical and the physical carts and then eventually we lose the switch eShop as well so hopefully nintendo does better in the future with this but it's the end of an era today and it's a sad time let me know down below your best memories with pokemon on the 3ds and wii u and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss my future content i've been linky and we'll see you all in the next video peace out